I decided to pull the gas tank out rather than try to clean it in place. It uh, all came out rather easily, surprisingly enough. I thought that the filler hose, being 50 years old, uh, was going to fight me, but it really came off quite nicely and got all the hardware off the top of it. And now I'm going to clean up the outside and then work on cleaning up the inside. And I haven't quite decided what my total treatment's going to be on the uh, inside of the tank but you can see the things all coated with farm mud uh, it's got this interesting seal around here that uh, I guess needs to be replaced I don't know if that's a part or I don't know what happened there oh it's mostly like a sheet of plastic I guess that sitting on a piece of foam so uh, I'll take it over here to the gravel pit and scrape the mud off of it and then proceed with the inside Finally, fun turn fall here in Tidewater, Virginia. Uh, it's a beautiful, crisp, clear morning, and uh, I've got the gas tank out of the Land Rover, and I have done some basic cleaning of the outside. I've gotten rid of all the mud and stuff that was on here. This is this is undercoating on here. I'm just going to leave that like it is. I cleaned up the fittings on the top where the sending unit goes and this is a vent tube right here that uh, mounts up right here and this is the pickup tube for the gasoline. And everything seems to be in pretty good shape. Thank you for that. Um, now I've got to clean out the inside of uh, shown some pictures of what the inside of the gas tank looks like and uh, I need to get that crud out of the bottom of the tank. It's mostly a film of rusty material that um, would eventually get sucked up into the fuel system if I didn't get it out of there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a length of chain here and put it inside the tank and with some water, uh, slosh it around inside there, uh, break that stuff up and flush it out the bottom, flush it out the top, whatever is necessary, uh, until I've got a good clean surface inside. Um, I kind of wish I'd gotten a little heavier duty chain, but uh, this will probably do what I need to do. Anything to get in there and uh, beat around on the inner surfaces of the tank. Um, Using water to clean it out, I'm going to have to, of course, dry it out real well. I can use some alcohol to get rid of the residue water that's in there. Uh, I thought about using some etchant on the inside of it. If it were just a plain steel tank, I would do that, but I think this is zinc coated inside. I'm not real sure. Uh, if it's zinc coated, definitely don't want to use the etchant on it. That would really muck things up in there. So that's what I'm going to do next is get some water in here. Put the, I'm going to put the drain plug back in the bottom of it. Uh, you can actually see some of the stuff falling out of here. Uh, I'm going to stick the drain plug back in, get some water in there, and uh, use this to beat it around inside it and then hopefully get rid of all that gunk that's inside the tank. We'll see how it works. That was actually much better exercise than I anticipated it would be. Um, as you can see, the um, gold, rusty crud coming out of the tank here is... Uh, I've accomplished what I needed to, but I've tried throwing it around 
just with two hands and I'm gonna have to give it a second shot here uh, on top of the dumpster rocking it back and forth but it's it's getting stuff out of there here's a look at some of the scale that came out of this thing it's uh, it was pretty disgusting down in the bottom and a lot of it has run out here uh, don't know what the inside of the tank looks like right now but I'm gonna take a look and see if I need to continue beating it up inside I really think I'm gonna go over here and get a bigger chain uh, this one just didn't wonking around in there hard enough to do what I want to do I went and got my extendable magnetic pickup tool and tried to pick up some of the bigger flakes from inside and it did work it uh, picked some of them up but there's still stuff stuck in the bottom but with the tool I found this down in the bottom let me get out of the uh, the chain that holds the gas cap was crusted up down there in the bottom. I'm going to see if I can retrieve it, put it back in service. I went and got the chain that secures my empire here, locks up the fence out front, and it's a little more meaningful chain than what I was using. I'm going to put it down in there and see what it does. What I noticed is when I when I drained the tank initially, I noticed there were a couple tablespoons of water in there, and uh, it's obvious that that water sat in the bottom of the tank under the gas and just sat there rusting. Uh, it didn't cause any real damage as far as I can see, but uh, it's probably a, a good argument for fuel additives and. Uh, something that will pull that water out of there so just some denatured alcohol would have uh, gotten it out of there but it was too late for that by the time i got here so uh, just think about that on your vehicle you might want to put a little bit of dry gas or denatured alcohol or something in there uh, to keep it from puddling down in the bottom of the tank In the final analysis here, I, th I think I've got the tank cleaned out acceptably. Um, it's it's not pretty inside, but it, there's no loose stuff in there, and I didn't see anything that I'm afraid is going to flake off and plug the system up. So um, it, the chain system didn't really work. Uh, either one. Of them was Because of a couple reasons, I'm not man enough to toss this gas tank around enough to make it bang around the inside with water in it. Um, the other reason is that this stuff was really tenacious. It was secured to the bottom of the tank, really tough scale. Um, I'm going to have to apologize to my dental hygienist next time I see her because that's the kind of thing she has to go through with me. Um, but. I was able to get a long screwdriver and manually chip the stuff out of the bottom and get to good clean metal. I hope I haven't damaged anything under there. I, I wasn't beating on it that hard. But um, I, I think it's ready to go back in the truck. I'm going to let it dry out over the weekend. I'm waiting for the fuel sending unit, fuel gauge sending unit to come in. And I got to make up some gaskets for these other two fittings on the top here. And then I think we'll be ready to go back into the car and uh, not stop everything up with old gunk from uh, storage. Thanks. I got my fuel sock in from Summit Racing. This is what it looks like. It's uh, got a 5 16 hole for the pickup tube to go into. Only problem is it won't go through the hole here in the top of the tank, so I'm gonna put it on through the drain plug in the bottom of the tank.
um, the pickup tube centers right up in the drain plug on the bottom of the tank. So uh, I'm going to just mount the pickup tube loosely and come in from underneath and put the sock on. There's the sock on the fuel pickup down in the tank. I've got it loose here, that's why it's not, but it sits directly over the drain plug. The Brit Parts fuel sender was made to fit apparently a number of different applications and this rod right here was just straight and it came with another rod that had the bend in it for the uh, float and it said you were supposed to match the length of the old sender and then solder the wires together. Well this is steel and steel doesn't solder. Uh, the existing wire on the thing was just about the right length with the curve in it so I just went ahead and put a curve in it. Um, put a hook in the end to hold the float ground off the excess. It also has two connectors on top. One is for a low fuel signal. Um, I have to thank Paddock Spares for putting instructions for this out on the internet. Um, but um, now I think I can go ahead and put it in. Gas tank all installed. Uh, followed the instructions that I found on the internet for hooking up the wire to the um, fuel sending unit. But unfortunately my filler hose did not survive the project. So I wasn't looking forward to going into whatever this uh, compartment is behind this bulkhead. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, but uh, I'll have to order a hose now and two hoses actually, a vent hose as well. I don't know why I'm always so optimistic thinking this stuff's going to survive, but it didn't. So we move on to the next stage.